How's it going guys? Today is Saturday, June 4th. And if you don't know what Saturdays are for me, if you're new to this channel, today is basically where I wake up early, I woke up at 6.30, and I go to a coffee shop and I get some work done before most people are even up. So that's where I'm headed right now. Today is a little bit different though because my boss's wife, she's coming at like 10 o'clock. The reason that she's coming is because she wants to get into graphic design and go back to school for graphic design. So I offered to kind of mentor her and help her get back into things and kind of discover what she wants to do. I think she wants to do illustration, but I want to try and help her figure out what style she wants to do and then help her in executing that style. So I'm meeting with her today. I'm not sure how often I'll meet with her, maybe every week or so. Um, and then just kind of help her and give her my expertise in terms of what I know in terms of illustration and things like that. And then just giving her an overall good grasp on graphic design. So I'm excited to help her. I'm really big into mentoring people. I really am passionate about giving away my knowledge, which is kind of why I have this vlog to give away my knowledge to you guys in terms of my daily life as a designer and the knowledge that I have and any business stuff, you know, just stuff like that. I'm really passionate about sharing my knowledge with people. So, so mentoring is one of those things that I think is super important and, and very helpful to people that are trying to get into the graphic design industry because I didn't really have much of a mentor. I had one for a little bit, but you know, I kind of had to learn everything on my own and I want to change that for people. So what I do is I try and help people and actually like three mentorships come up, came up this month so i'm actually mentoring three people right now all three of them are older than me it's not not that that matters but you know i think it's really cool that i'm able to help people that are older than me and you know you would normally think people older than me would be helping me but in this instance it's the other way around and i'm just really proud of that and being able to help and give back to the graphic design community so I just got home from the coffee shop. It was a really productive day today. I got a lot of stuff done. I'm currently working on some interview questions that somebody sent me. They want to interview me and basically go over how I got into the tech world and basically starting from the beginning of things and how I've progressed, stuff that I've learned along the way. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for something like that. And I know it'll definitely benefit you guys if you guys want to see a bit into how I became a designer and where it came from and just learning some basic facts and some interesting facts about me. So I'll definitely share that with you guys once that's done. Right now I just finished editing the vlog that it's going up today, uh, which is one day before you're watching this. So yesterday's vlog, which is the day in the life one. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That one was really fun to kind of put on my Snapchat and then translate it over to YouTube and I just finished that so right now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break for a few hours and then later I'm going to a coffee shop by school it's a it was one of my favorite coffee shops when I was going to school there I would probably go there almost every single day during lunch to get some work done and have lunch so I'm gonna go back there since it's pretty close to my place and I don't want to stay at home all day and I want to get some work done on my website. I finished a bunch of my case studies, but I want to translate those case studies to Medium and Behance because you can get a lot more following on there and get a lot of traction on them. So just a tip for you guys that are finishing case studies or want to get some more eyes on your work, definitely use some other mediums. Ah, there's a pun right there. Use some other mediums like Medium and Behance. It's definitely a good way to get some good feedback and get some and get some more exposure on your work. So I just had a pretty good break. I actually spent most of it looking for apartments in St. Louis. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm moving to St. Louis in a couple months and I still haven't found an apartment yet. Um, I'm having a hard time finding something that fits everything that I need. I really wanna get a two bedroom place because I wanna make one of them an office with like all my design work, but also my video work. I wanna start making some different kind of videos with like product reviews of things like that. People really seem to enjoy my videos on product reviews or recommendations that I've made to them. So like the Aaron Draplin book and just recommending some apps on my phone and stuff like that. So I kind of want to have like a good place in my new place to be able to shoot those videos as well. Cause I really want to do a lot more with my YouTube channel than just vlogs every single day uh, or almost every single day. But I really enjoy vlogging 
but I don't want it to be the only thing that I do and I, and I don't want it to get really repetitive. I really enjoy vlogging, like I said, but I feel like doing the same thing every day or almost every day gets kind of repetitive. And I don't really do much because I really like working a lot and that's what I put most of my time into. And hanging out with friends, I don't really like to record that just because, you know, if they're not comfortable on camera, I don't really want to force anything on them. So I'm super excited for that. Just really need to find the best place for that. Um, so I need that. I also want a gym. I also want to have it in a safe location because, as you know, St. Louis can be kind of unsafe in certain places. So I got to be careful with that. And I also need to live close to Julie so that she can come over easily. And when I need her to check on Olive and Coco, she can super easily. So that's really important too. It's just a big pain to find something. Um, I found a few places and the realtors haven't gotten back to me, which kind of sucks, but you know, what can you do? But anyways, I'm headed over to that coffee shop now. It's called Bongo Java for those of you who are curious when you see it. Um, so that's what I'm about to do now. And <clears throat> I'm going to work on what I said earlier, which is my case studies and transferring those to Medium and to Behance. stuff done. I got everything done that I wanted to get done today in terms of my case studies. I added two of my case studies to Medium and Behance, so that's something I'm going to be putting out on Monday. I also already have them on my website if you guys are interested and want to go check it out. Feel free to go check it out and see if they help you if you're developing your own case studies. But anyways, for the rest of tonight, I'm going to take a break right now for about an hour. My head is just like throbbing from looking at a computer screen all day. I got to the coffee shop at like 8.30 in the morning, the first one that I went to, and right now it's 7.13. So basically from that whole time, I've been on the, a computer all day. So my head is just like really hurting, like the back of my eyes. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about when you've been on a computer for too long. But anyways, in about an hour, I am going to meet with the same guy that I'm not sure if most of you guys remember or if you guys have seen the vlog yet, but there's a guy here that's my coworker and his girlfriend lives here and they live together here. So I'm going to be going over there to learn a bit more of JavaScript. We're working on a to-do app that I'm coding from scratch in JavaScript. So just getting some practice in for that. Not sure if I'm gonna vlog for the rest of the day. Uh, I think I might just end it for this vlog. Today was more of a productive day in the morning, I was helping that lady that I told you guys about. Don't want to give her name away, obviously, but it was a lot of fun. I was able to help her a bit, and I'm probably going to meet with her again next week. But yeah, just today, trying to make it a productive day and focusing on some personal work and getting out my personal case studies and adding more work to my website so that I can start taking on some more freelance work. Because that's what I'm really interested in, is taking on some more freelance work while I work at Satchel Health just because I need something else to kind of fuel my creativity. And I do have my side projects and stuff, but I do love freelance, so. That's something I wanna be trying to get over the next couple of weeks um, before I move to St. Louis. But hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Let me know anything you guys wanna see or if you have any questions. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.